What's up guys, my name is 50 Levels Up and welcome back to Minecraft. And today we're gonna be doing some building. Ah, do I get it here? Okay, here. So I, I just came from the nether, right? So I've been searching for another right because I was just like 1.20 is coming and to upgrade to netherite gear is gonna be difficult and I'm not up, I'm not updating this at all until we actually have another right so yeah now I'm under the impression because I just recently finished editing the other video but you guys actually have not quite yet seen our new and improved uh yeah this thing <laughs> our castle entryway to what is called the mountain home so yeah this is what it looks like this is the end result but i'm gonna let you guys like actually like see it being built right i think it looks pretty cool i added some cracked stone to make it look better because just too much stone is it, it just doesn't work for me it just doesn't look nice but yeah this is what it looks like this is our entrance i dug this out and eventually once this place is fully transformed i'm pretty sure it'll look like better actually but for now i, I enjoy it well enough so yeah, that's the entry. That's the entry to what is described as this castle. We're gonna call this castle the mountain home. So I'm gonna put all my stuff down from the Nether. I'm gonna let you guys also see, like some of the cool stuff that you know I was doing. And I'm also while I'm doing that, I'm gonna read some lore to you guys. Some lore that I've been creating lately for our um, some lore I've been creating lately for our world, and then. I'll discuss what you guys will be doing today, so I'll see you guys in a second. What's well, so up guys, it's Present50 here. Uh, that's kind of interesting to say. I wanted to read you guys some Minecraft lore, and you know, the few of you guys that watch this series, at least consistently, that have been here for a while, you can tell me on whether or not you like this. But, I've been writing lore, as I was talking about in the video, for our Minecraft game, because, you know, when it comes to playing Minecraft, at least for me personally, something that keeps me going, in terms of what I'm playing, is the lore behind my world, and why I'm building certain things, you know? So, right now, the kingdom that our character, who would be, I guess, Devin the Fourth, I guess that's the name. He's, he's my name. He's going to be the King Devin the Fourth, I guess, because I think before I said every single time that I die, there's going to be a new king. I should probably, I should probably wreck on that. But anyways, we're in the kingdom of Zarbonia, and the place in which we've been having our base so far is called Mount Loon. And two settlements here in the Kingdom of Zarbonia are Haven, which is the village that we go to where the Mending Villager is, and Fort Lazarus, where our skeleton farmer is, right? So, with this, right, I just have, like, this lore written down. I really like it. I think it's pretty cool, right? And so, Mount Loon was the first settlement founded by the Zarbonians. The initial settlers dug into the mountain for shelter and ended up finding the Pool of Life. Now, eventually, as you guys know, as I'm going to build, this is going to be, like, a huge, like, cavern in the middle where, like, all our chests and stuff are. But, you know, we haven't seen that yet. So, think of, like, just these settlers coming into this huge cave cavern and they start digging into the mountain even more for shelter because it's still open and wide and everything so it's like let's dig into the mountain to really get some shelter and to build a home there right and so then that's how they find the pool of life you know where we have all our fishies and all the little decorative ponds or that decorative pond that i made right there it's the pool of life and for the zarbonian settlers like the first ones it was more than enough for them right because it was called that because they needed that water you know they need that early water to survive basically even though it's not that much now they probably can't do that much to or with it it's very symbolic for the zarbonians right because the water in the marsh was marsh nearby was unsafe to drink and the other closest water source was too far for regular travel so them finding that was literally a lifesaver because you know there's a marsh like west or something of mount loon you know we're gonna build a port over there and then actually, of course, there's a river not that far away, but for the Zarbonians, it was pretty far away in terms of what they were trying to do. And to basically, water is a necessity for survival, and having to go that far to get water all the time did not bode well for them. So it's from this source of water that Mount Loon eventually turned into a thriving settlement and eventually an expansive kingdom. So Zarbonia, or Mount Loon is the capital. If you don't know this, Mount Loon is actually named after a subscriber. It'd be kind of funny if the guy, his name was Mr. Football Loons. It'd be funny if he's not subscribed anymore. But hey, I'm not going to change the name because I like it. So <laughs> that's beautiful and amazing. But so eventually, right, from this one simple source of water and basically a hole dug into a mountain, a mountain cavern, 
pretty much. It turned into an expansive kingdom. Now, there's probably going to be a few more settlements other than Fort Lazarus and Haven. But for now, those are the two settlements in which I'm thinking of currently. I know I do plan on building a seaport. Like, that's rather close as well. I don't know what to call that one, but that's going to be a build for another date. So, spoiler alert, right? And so, with this, right, the pool of life resides in the seat of power for the Zarbonian royal family. And that is the mountain home. And that's what you're seeing me build right now. This is the entrance to the mountain home. So, the castle that we have into Mount Loon, I guess, or this whole place is Mount Loon, actually. But the castle getting into, you know, this place where the throne room is and everything is called the mountain home that's the name of the castle it's called the mountain home i got that from door fortress by the way because dwarf and door fortress i think the fortresses are literally called mountain homes i thought that was a pretty cool name right and so further down from the pool of life is what is known as the deep slate throne on whom sits king devon the fourth which is me so i got my lore correct this is king devon the fourth who is we can call him like king devon the I don't, I don't know what his name would be like, cause you know how rulers have anyways, if they, you know, they have them side names like the builder, the conqueror, things of nature, but yeah, we'll focus on that some other time. Right. And so with this, right, apart from the castle dug into the deepest reaches of the mountain is an underground city, which hosts the, which hosts the majority of Mount Loon's residents. There here are a bustling port, many homes, shops, taverns, and stores for the visiting traveler. On the northern side of the mountain are farmland, stables, and ranches. On the southern side of the mountain are the mines. So eventually, because it turns out actually that from the way that we're facing, we're facing west or something. So in the north and the south, we're going to begin to mix things up, change them up, and make, you know, in the south, mines. In the north, there's going to be farmlands and stables and ranches and things of that nature. So I can't wait to do those builds. It's going to be pretty fun. But yeah, that's everything I got for our lore for today. I guess the ne next time is going to be for Fort Lazarus because I have some lore for that one as well. But let me let, let me know if you guys enjoy this little bit of time of reading lore and just expanding on our kingdom and everything, expanding on the lore of our world. But that's everything I got. I'll let you guys get back to the video. All right, so I hope that you guys enjoyed that little, yeah, hope, I hope you guys enjoyed that little segment, you know, been thinking of some good old lores for our world, and I want to be consistent with it so that we can have consistent lore, and I'm not changing it every five seconds whenever I change my mind. When it's done raining, I'll actually show you what it looks like, I guess, completed again, I guess, in-game from my point of view, but today we're going to be working on a barracks, so I accidentally died. I died, like, literally just over here in this little ditch because I um, I went to go get some food and I was AFK for a very long time and I totally didn't realize I didn't pause the game so I'm gonna be making a little barracks over here and I have an idea for this barracks like I had a, like a vision in my head not an actual vision because an actual vision will be different and it's anyways that's not the point but <laughs> you know I, I had a little like vision in my head so in this barracks there's gonna have these two you know pathways leading over to it and this is where the Laverian knights are gonna be barracked or at least you know some of the castle guards and stuff like that and everything of the mountain home 
and so there's gonna be like a big like kind of like i guess walking area with pillars very similar to the storage room in a sense yeah actually pretty similar to the storage room and stuff i think i want the floor to be stone i think that would be cool the floor is stone instead of wood i know we use wood for a lot of things maybe, maybe it can be wood yeah but either way, either way we're gonna have some pillars and so then there's gonna be on the right a stairwell or stairway that's gonna go up to where our castle gateway is so that you know you can actually get inside of it <laughs> and then over to the left is gonna be an armory where their weapons and armor are and when the new minecraft update comes out we're gonna get a lot of um, armor trims because we're gonna use those to make I guess in a way custom armor and we're gonna name it and stuff like that I think that'd be pretty cool we just need a lot of XP I need an XP farm Quite frankly, that's one reason for why I'd actually like to go to the end is to make an Enderman farm. But that's besides the point. We'll just use our current XP farm because I like building. And then, sorry, sorry, now I'm running around. This is um, it's very similar to how like in actual life when I think about things and start pacing. So, and then, like, yeah, yeah, it's gonna be an armory, and then in front there's gonna be a something. But I think it's going to be another pathway maybe to like a stable or something because we're going to move our stables and everything. And so you realize that like once everything's said and done, we're going to have to cover all this stuff up with dirt and all types of things and everything. But for now, we're not going to do that. So, yeah, so let's let's start. Let's start doing this. Yeah, we're going to dig this out. And this is might be one of those times where I want to use like cobblestone, actually. But that's probably not a good idea. So I should probably get some of my actual materials that I actually need. And so what's going to happen is, is that like, because I, I actually didn't tell you the entire thing. There's going to be like a, um, a little staircase and then below is going to be like where they sleep. And it's also going to be like tables and stuff where they can, you know, where they have drinks and they party and all that and all that good stuff that soldiers do. You know on and off duty when they probably you know when they probably shouldn't be doing things so i guess we can get some wood and some stone bricks yeah i'm glad that i kind of saved some of this stuff i guess in a sense we'll get some of these get two stacks of wood and then let's get us start ourselves some stone bricks and we do we not have any stone bricks at all are you serious I mean, we have a gazillion stones. I just put the stone bricks back. Just, yeah, yeah. I'll put that back and just use these instead. Right. I mean, I'm excited because we're building more of Mount Loon. We're getting things fleshed out. Some of these rooms were cool initially when I built them, but now, I mean, this storage room is cool. But some places are probably going to look a lot better than other places, but that's okay, I guess. But I have to be careful with this because I, I died already. I died to a pillager. Because I wasn't paying attention. So. I, got, I gotta be a little careful. Next time I go AFK. I guess. So yeah. Right so let's build this. Over. The good news is. Is that there's not like a lot of stuff for us to dig through. The bad news is. Is that like. Also what we might do is. Maybe. There might be a hallway that connects through here or something. I don't know. But I, I do. I am thinking about making some of these places a little bit interconnected in a sense. It's something I definitely thought about. Not sure on how I want to go with that. So, yeah, let's rid ourselves of this. I don't know why I just did this. I, I know I did it, but I didn't do it right. That's the thing. All right, then get rid of this, 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 and this. Right, so this is gonna be a wall. That's that's why. So there's also gonna be like doo doo doop. So we just go ahead and add our wooden floor, and it'll look the same as like all our usual hallways do and everything. So whenever the time comes, we'll do that. Switched out my stuff, bro. Did you know that you can apparently? I don't know how true this is because Minecraft YouTubers sometimes lie or are just completely misinformed, but apparently. You can actually, um, disenchant books. 
with an anvil i mean with the grindstone which i'm sitting there just like what are you serious are you kidding me are you serious why don't i just do this why, why, why don't i just yeah why don't i just do that instead of doing the complicated way okay so right 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 i don't how big do i want this room to be i don't know i i just had the idea I knew that today, I was like, I wanted to record some Minecraft and some Mountain Blade, which I did the Mountain Blade part, but the Minecraft part is now, and I don't know, I didn't really think of, think of anything past that. I was like, I have this idea, I'm going to do this idea, and it'll be cool, and I'll figure it out once I get there. Talk about improper planning. Let's see, so let's move some of our stuff around here for a second. I'm having a pretty good day. I mean, I'm going to be honest with you, every day is a good day, because the joy of the Lord is upon me, but like... You know, I'm having, like, a good day, though. You know what I'm saying? So, let's also dig this over. And I hope that you guys are having a good day as well. Just things have been going pretty cool. And they've been rather pleasant. So, what I also could do here is... Because... I want to see something. I want to see where these walls are. Oh, that, that would be perfect. Okay. Right, that would be perfect. So then what I also could do is I can make something that goes under here. Like we could have like a little thing that goes under. And like, let's see, one. Wait, what? So this is the wall. One, one, two, three, four. Oh, that's kind of lame. Okay, anyways. I'm sorry, I'm like part brainstorming here. So, right, what do I want to make the floor out of? Well, I don't know, Devin. That's a, that's a pretty good question. What do we want to make the floor out of? For now, we're just going to dig some of these things up, though. Hmm, I said I wanted to make it out of stone, but what do I really do I really want to make it out of stone? I'll probably just make it out of wood like everything else. I think that'll fit the aesthetic because a lot of things are still made made out of wood. I have no idea why in the world. I know why I made this design because I made this design before one time when I played modded Minecraft, but I don't know why in like why would they build like that in a sense, you know, like the hodgepodgeness and all the different things. Of this like the mixture of wood and stone i mean i don't care i'm not gonna change it or am i i don't know i'm probably not gonna change it but at the same time this is weird but yeah i guess we can keep everything wood so then we can make the floor out of wood but maybe have like some sort of design in it maybe use some stripped wood and stuff like that because i know the power of stripped wood just a little bit but not really you know type deal so I guess if we want to really plan this out in everything, gotta start. Gotta start, you know, doing this. Little bits of this. So let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. And this will be fourteen. Ew. So 14. When they both reach this wall. Okay, that's kind of annoying. But that just means that we need to make. Let's see. 1, 2, 3. So 14 plus 3. Maybe 5. That doesn't work either. What about 7? Oh my goodness. I'm, try I'm trying to think for a second. It's just like, how, how am I going to make this odd? So, one, two, three. F with, like, making this the same amount in the middle. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Am I mildly upset that this is odd? P yes. But fine, we can just make it like 20 by something or something like that. So 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. The real question, sixteen, is that do we want this? Long which way? Hmm. That's 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 a good question here. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> uh, oops. I'm trying to I'm trying to think. So what type of room? Because I want like pillars and stuff like that, but I kind of like want it facing. I guess the longer way to be this part. So maybe it should be the other way around, though. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oops. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Yeah, maybe maybe we'll make it fifteen by twenty. It doesn't need to be like huge. Cause like, well, at the same time, as much as I love to imagine. Like, there's giant armies and stuff running around. They're not that big. And, and, and it's, it's not that many, you know what I'm saying? So, let's get this over. So, I guess mine out here. Gonna have to get rid of some of these trees. Oh, my goodness. This is gonna just jet out and look purely disgusting for a while, but I'm not gonna do anything about it. I am not gonna do a single thing about it until, I don't know, eventually. Eventually, we're gonna use a, we're gonna use a lot of stone for that, which is why I'm kinda thankful that I have a gazillion of it. Where's my ax? I'm trying to figure out where some of my materials are because I picked up this new shovel because it was nearby, but I'm, I don't know where my stuff is. So let's head down into our storage room for a moment. <laughs> Had to also harvest some potatoes and cook them. Wow, we have a lot of dark oak wood, though. Why do we have so much? I have no idea. I don't know. I don't know why I have a lot of things, actually. Means that we mean we might need to go cut down some trees, which should be fun. But I just kind of want to set like I guess the design and the outline and stuff like that for our stuff. So we're gonna do that. I'm pretty sure I left it in here. Well, not in there, but I meant like in here. I was just checking that Trigy P. Where is my axe? Uh oh, might be bad news bears. Well, for now, we'll leave it alone. Or maybe we won't. Yeah, let me let me go find that real quick. I'm gonna go find my axe. Okay, while I'm looking for my axe, I'm thinking, oh yeah, let me let me actually show them what it looks like without while it's not raining. But yeah, I like I like the general design, and once everything is like set in stone and all done and stuff like that, I think it'll be pretty awesome to look at. I'm gonna take this silk touch X for a second. I'm trying to figure out where did I put my stuff? Cause I went to the nether. It's not in the nether. Cause that would have been silly. Huh. I lost my X. I wonder where that could be. So I'm gonna go chop down that tree, actually. See you guys. Yeah, I'm gonna go chop down that tree and I'll see you guys in a moment. Okay guys, I just happened to get up here and you know my render distance I increased because I can. Um because my new computer is fantastic and oh look at that. But I guess also when I'm out here, you know, like let's talk about Mount Loon. So down here is gonna be like a city with, you know, it's probably going to be a lot bigger than this like looks and it's probably going to be layers underneath too probably maybe i don't know that's pretty ambitious we're going to be working on this forever man gotta go to the end eventually but i want to talk about some of the builds so we, i want to have a port over here 
you know, or at least over here or something, there's going to be a port on this side. And I think mines over on that side. I can't quite remember because I wrote it in my notes, but I can't quite remember. Or mines on this side, maybe, or something. Right? And there's going to be stuff. It's going to be stuff everywhere. And the farms and all types of things. I'm looking forward to it. But there's going to be a giant entrance right here and everything. Kind of similar to this. It's a. Yeah, pretty, pretty much similar to that. Maybe it'll be a little bit bigger. It's also, we're going to have an overarching mountain, you know, that I'm going to put over all this, too, to cover it. And we're going to have a road, because I think there might be more than one than one entrance into Mount Loon. Probably, like, three or something. And, yeah, 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 more than one entrance. So, we're going to have a road out there, and there's probably going to be a village over there, like a little fishing port or something, in order to, um you know, cross over to Haven, which is all the way over there. Just all types of stuff. And just, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. You know, slowly but surely, we're just going to build up our Minecraft world. Well, ever since I was young, I always wanted to have a Minecraft world. Well, I've always wanted to be a YouTuber. And apparently, judging by my experience with my family, ever since, like, I was a literal little kid, like, just elementary school. And then on the other hand, like, once I got into Minecraft, I started watching Rendog, who was at that time my favorite Minecraft YouTuber. I was like, I'm sitting there just like, yo, I want to have a Minecraft world. I want to, like, just like he started and everything, and he made, he had his Minecraft survival world. He had the mole hole and everything. Oh, man. Let's bring back nostalgia. He had the mole hole and everything and he just you know season after season after season kept building up and expanding i was like i want to do that with a minecraft world but i guess i guess now i got my chance it's a nice little hobby of mine and i i, I hope and pray that like we can really gain some chat some traction you know what i'm saying i also just like to watch or i like when people watch me play games that's why i also like making youtube videos on the other hand though like regardless and i think this is important also for me like being in ministry but regardless of whether or not people actually like see my content i want to always make content and not be discouraged because sometimes as human beings we get caught up and we begin to idolize views and how many people watch and likes and comments and stuff like that and when we're not getting those it can lead to like all types of problems and i don't want to have those problems so like kind of just not having that attitude of just not caring and doing it because it's something I love and like a few people watch it okay if I can make one person's day smile or just myself that's fine by me you know things things of that nature I don't think I need this yeah let's get rid of that and that should be okay and having that mentality and mindset will help a lot in my later life and the thing and other things I got to do too as well Okay, so now I kind of want to change the design for this because of, like, how this is now. And it's even. That makes me so mad. So, three, three, six, four. Oops. So, I'm trying to think. Six. Three, three, twelve. 1, 1, 14. 3, 3 again. That doesn't work. I got that. Like, just... Uh. Yes, I don't mind that this is... Like, this in-between part is 6, I guess. But, like... Hmm. I'm trying to think. While I'm sitting here thinking I'm gonna build... One, two, three, four. So I'm gonna have to cope with this, whether I like it or not. Maybe I'll change how this is designed. So it would be like over here would be, 
the armory. And over here would lead to, you know, the upper parts. I felt like there was supposed to be something over here, too. Maybe another pathway leading to something else over here. Like, this would be a another entrance, I guess, or exit, I should say. So now I guess there would be like a... Uh, let's see. So I guess there would be another hallway here. Boop, boop, boop. Well, I guess these corner ones, I guess, and yeah, I guess we don't actually need these. Crazy. Hmm. I think this is a cool idea though, just in general. So I guess if I just did this and this. Yep, we're definitely gonna be working in even numbers. <laughs> I almost said that's depressing. Well, now I did say that's depressing. I just, I don't like evens because there's not a middle, but we can make it work. Yeah, and this would be like another, yeah, right there would be another entrance. Right here would be another entrance. And we can build some cool stuff over here. One, two, three. One, two, three. Four, maybe. Then one, one, two, three, four, five. Then have like a little arc. Hold on. Let me go sleepy weepies. I don't know if um if using this is more effective. I think it is in terms of like making certain things. I'm glad that this extra dirt because I need to put this towards Fort Lazarus. Fort Lazarus, I cannot wait till we start building over there too. There's so many builds I want to do. It's gonna take so much time out of my life. But at least I'll have some people along with me on the journey, question mark. So let's say, you know, two, three, four, five. How high do I want the ceiling to be? Maybe, maybe I wanted to have a high ceiling. One, two, three, four, five. Make a high ceiling. Two, three, two, three, and then that might be really cool. Oh, perfect. Um. No, that looks fine. Actually, I was, I was like, I was about to say first that looks disgusting, but no, that looks fine. Just gotta add um. You, you always gotta add stairs. Just to round things out. Just, just, just <laughs> it makes things better. Oh my goodness. Um, there we go. This is one guy I remember watching one of his hardcore world videos. He used classical music. I thought that was pretty cool. I didn't even know you can make path tiles without grass. Yeah, I think I think that looks fine in terms of like how I'm wanting to design and build this. Yeah, yeah. That's gonna get annoying <laughs> very, very quickly. So then, maybe I have 
one hallway that goes out here goes up and goes over there or better yet over here we have a hallway that comes out or we have a set of stairs one set good one that goes up that goes up here to left and over there and then one that goes down and then kind of like comes like around this whole thing until it gets into the part that's supposed to go and then we can have two of these big entrance thingies yeah how about that do you guys like that i like it so i'm gonna do it look at me acting like somebody's actually here to play with me all right bring this over one two three there we go one okay so one two three four five two well yeah there is supposed to be one here but there you go one two three question mark up like that one two three four five one two three let's make sure to get that one down there this one this one and just like that but what if I brought this across I brought that across okay that means I did that right then maybe like let's get some more stone I got some interesting ideas Bruins up here I'm gonna probably separate or segment this roof somehow hmm oh by the way now I'm sitting here. If you're sitting here watching this, I'd love for you to comment down below. What are like your top five games of all time? I, I literally just said this in a different video, but I don't care. I'm saying it again. My top five games of all time currently are Skyrim, number one. Number two is Mountain Blade 2 Bannerlord, because I do think it's better than Warband. Number three is Minecraft. Number four is Assassin's Creed Revelations. And number five is Halo Reach. Those are my top those are my top five. I don't know how tall this is, actually. I should probably count next time. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, nine. Okay, beautiful. And yeah, we can somehow segment all of this stuff off into its various pieces. And then let's, I guess we could do like, oh my goodness, we could do like stairs here and here, here and here. Might use concrete for some of this for like the wall designs. One, two, three, four. Sitting here trying to think. We could just try to think of like kind of cool designs to kind of put into the, 
That could be pretty cool. To put into um, the walls and everything. Now the way I wanted the walls to go is that at first I wanted them to kind of have like a... Uh, how do I describe this? I have no idea how I can possibly describe this. By the, by the way, the next time that you guys see me, chances are... Especially if I get in the mood. I'm not going to say this build is going to be done or anything. That, that'd be ridiculous. That'd be mean. Well, yeah, I take that back. But it's definitely going to be a lot of this taken care of. Maybe I will probably put slabs in here. Kind of have like, I wanted to have like an indented roof? Question mark. Is that like the, the phrase I would like to use? It's very interesting. Now, like, put this here, put this there, and maybe take this wood, bring this all the way across here. Nice little brainstorming episode we got here. I'm just sitting here just like, hmm, how am I going to go about all this? I don't know. But yeah, the good news is, is that we do not have, we do not have to dig out a whole bunch of things. And then we have to replace the blocks. We, for the most part, they're already here. And so, yeah, I'm going to go with the stairwell. So then this can be like... Oh, I wanted a... Tra That's what it was. I wanted a training area. Well, how about this? Yeah, yeah. We can, we can make it like in the downstairs part, I guess. Or maybe like up here can be the... Up here can be the so-and-so, and then downstairs can be the, the living quarters along with the training area. Can be the armory and can be like... Oh, that's the case. I'm um, looking at this. Like, what if I made like a little indent down? Or like maybe uh, over here in, in these ones, like, you know, little staircases. If you ever played Skyrim and, you know, you go to White Run. And if you go to the Companions Guild, if you if you even like the Companions quest line, they have in the Hall of Companions like these little basically it's like basically it's like um, tables that are kind of like in this indented area. So let's see, this is four. Maybe if I maybe maybe I should I need my axe, but yeah I'm a I'm a actually in this episode here. I'm looking at I'm get got the 40 minute mark, so I'm gonna end this episode here. I'm having a good time. I think I know generally what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna tell you what I'm gonna do too. So we're gonna build out this floor and we're gonna have like I guess dining room tables like inside, kind of like a level below in a sense, and then maybe up here we'll have chandeliers that come down for lighting for a roof. Then we'll work on the armory together, and I'll set this up, I suppose. It's just a lot of fun building. I'll listen to some music and get building. But for now, I'm going to go inside and rest, but that's all I got, guys. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and you guys make sure you have a blessed day and know that Jesus loves you. I'll see you guys later.